Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So Armgen has a new release, it is Armgen 2305 Sunny. So this comes with a lot of new features and one of these new features I will show you in this video. So it is the i3 desktop, well actually it is a tiling window manager. So this doesn't work as the normal desktops that we are used on Armgen as the XFCE or the GNOME desktop. So as I said, it is a dynamic tiling window manager. So just as Sway, I must say I have never used anything like this for production means. So I am not used at working with it. But today we are gonna take a look at how to use it. I'm going to keep it simple because I don't know much about it. So here we go! So for this video I am going to use the Kata's Edge 2 Pro with the I.O. board so I can use an SD card. And here if we go down then we see the i3 desktop arm bin jammy. So let's download this and write it to an SD card. And then the initial boot process is the same as with any other arm bin image. So we type two times a new root password. We choose what command shell we want, so bash or zsh. Then we choose our username, so nicod, two times the password. The real name, nicod. Connect with Wi-Fi, yes. Set user language based on location, no, because I want English, 74761. And here we are at the login of Armbian. So if we log in, then we see i3 for the first time. So then you get this window, you have not configured i3 yet. Do you want me to generate a config at slash home slash nicod slash dot config slash i3 slash config? Press enter for yes. That is where all the configuration of i3 will be stored. I will show you this later on. And then the next question, this is also important. Please choose either the win key as default modifier or the alt key. So I will choose the win key. If you don't have a windows key, then you will have to choose the alt key. So I will press enter. So in i3 everything works with key bindings. So for me I will have to use the windows key for all these key bindings. So this is one of the reasons why I do not like i3. If you don't know anything about it and you boot for the first time, then you can't do anything with it. The only thing you can press is the Bluetooth configuration button, but otherwise there is nothing to press. There is no simple key combination that we are used to that works. So for example, I am used to use Ctrl Alt plus T to open a terminal. Here that doesn't work. So to open a terminal it is simple. So you have to press the Windows key or the one you have set as the default modifier and then enter. This updater doesn't work. So I open a terminal here and I will do sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrades and close this updater. So after sudo apt update we type sudo apt upgrade. So now let's open a second terminal. So I again press the windows key plus enter and as you see it opens a second window and it tiles it right next to it. So as you see this uses all tiles, it doesn't overlap windows. So you cannot drag windows like you were used to in other desktop environments. That's also something I do not like. I do know people who are used using this. The thing is for me you have to learn a lot of key combinations and my memory is very bad so I don't want to do this to myself. Gnome I also have to set up to have it the way I want it but this is a step too far. So let's run glx info b so it isn't installed so I'm gonna install sudo apt install mesa dash utils and then we can see if we have got any gpu drivers installed. And as you see there is no gpu driver so we are using the llvm pipe. That's software rendering. So now let's open a browser. So of course we could type chromium browser in the terminal. But we will do it another way. So we press the windows key plus the D key. So windows plus D. 
And then on the left top you see there is a search window. I first type Firefox but there is no Firefox so Chromium is installed. So we use Chromium. So now let's close HTOP over here. So to do that we press the Windows key plus the Shift key plus the Q key. So Windows, Shift and Q. That way we close a window. So now let's go to the Armbian website. Here we've got the Kados H2. And here it is explains how we can install our drivers. So we just copy this and paste it. And after that we will reboot. So sudo reboot. And once we reboot it, our background image is gone, but we will fix that later. So now let's open a file manager. So again the Windows key plus D and I type tuner because tuner is a file manager installed here. And here let's do view show hidden files. There we go to .config, there to i3 and there we have the config file. So let's open this. So all the configuration for i3 is done with this file. So once you have it set up the way you want it, make a backup so you can use it on another installation because it does take work to set it all up. I'm not gonna show it all, there are enough tutorials online to know how to do this. We are just gonna do some simple things. So let's go down a bit. What I'm searching for is terminal, so here start a terminal. So I do not want this i3 sensible terminal, I want the console terminal, that's what I like. So let's save this. And now to reload the configuration file, we press the Windows key plus Shift key plus C. And if I now do Windows key plus Enter, nothing will happen, because I don't have console installed. So I do the Windows key plus D to search for a terminal. So Terminator will do. Here is Terminator now. Let's install console, sudo apt install console. And let's close this. And if I now do the Windows key plus enter, then console opens. So now let's do a glx info dash b. And as you see panfrost is enabled, so panfork for the RK3588. On other devices you should have the GPU drivers enabled by default. So let's install Super Tux card just to test the drivers. And this runs fine. My sound wasn't working through my HDMI capture device but it is simple to set it up. So we press the Windows key plus D and we search for PAVU control. And with this we can set the sound device that we want to use. The Mikotronix R58 Mini and Mikotronix R58X. Raksha 0, Raksha 0. Now let's set a background image again. So for that we need nitrogen. So check if it is installed. So for me it is already installed. So sudo apt install nitrogen. And as you see it is already installed. So now just open it. So nitrogen and here it is. So we go to preferences. There we go to ads, there I go to file system, there to user, share, backgrounds, and let's select that. Okay, and here we have got our background images. So let's set this one, it's one that I made myself a long time ago. So set it zoomed fill, full screen, and apply. And now let's close this. So win plus shift plus Q. And here we've got our background image. So I again open console. And I open tuner, the file browser. And let's go to the config file. So dot config i3 and config and open it. Let me close this window. So it is all explained here what you can do. So focused window, just read it all if you are interested in using i3. I do not want to learn it all. I must say I am very happy using GNOME on the RK3588. So let's do this. So move the focus. 
So here is a good one, go to full screen. So let's try this. So it is the modifier key plus F, so win key plus F. And as you see that full screen is my window and do it again to go back. So as you see there are a lot of things you can set up here. See the tutorial files if you want to know more about that. One more thing, let's open a system monitor. So system monitor and the GNOME system monitor is installed here. So let's open that. And there we go to resources. And here we can see 768 megabytes is used. So this uses a bit less than GNOME. Maybe a bit more than XFC4. I don't remember how much XFC4 consumes. So it still uses quite a lot. So that will be it for this video. I don't have anything more to say. Let me know if you like i3 and if you use it. I never used it. I'm used to a normal desktop with windows that you can drag. So i3 isn't interesting for me. But I just wanted to show you that this is now possible with Armbin. So thank you all for watching. Please like this video. Maybe become a Patreon member. Because I only have one left. See you all later. Bye.